So you're gonna get two handouts. One you're going to cut, and the other one you're gonna glue your pieces onto. So if you wanna label them to begin with so you don't get confused um, and start cutting into the opposite one, I would do that right away. When you start cutting, you're going to cut into the middle of your animal or the object that you chose. Um, just so if you get off a little bit, you're not over at one end starting and by the time you get further away from that end, you're way off. So just stick to um, start cutting your pieces out in the middle. So you're just gonna cut in from the side and I think this is the first piece that I cut out. You want to cut it out really neatly because this is what you need to trace. And you can't um, cut through another piece to get to it. You have to stay on the lines because again, you need all those pieces. Like for instance, this one, you know, just pick a piece in the middle. So you'd start cutting from the edge and, you know, cut out one piece at a time. Only one piece at a time, otherwise you're gonna have way too many pieces and it's, it's, it just will not work out. So um, most of them, besides this cat that I just showed you, most of them are a symmetrical image. So you can see right here, my face, the head and the body are symmetrical, the tail is not. But you can choose to do the same colors on each side to keep it symmetrical, but you don't have to. If you think it's, um, it's gonna make your your design read better by making the colors the same, then, you know, make it symmetrical. It's just sometimes just easier that way since you have the colors already. Uh, so I chose kind of warm colors for mine. Um, I'm gonna stick with warm colors. I might have the tail go from yellow to maybe some greens, but uh, color is something that you need to decide whether you pick a certain color scheme, like warm or cool colors, if you do, primary colors, um, I you, you should have an idea in mind, not just random colors, cutting just random colors and putting them in. Uh, they sh You should have a reason behind the colors that you choose. All right, um, so I'm just gonna, you know, I was bouncing back and forth to keep it symmetrical. So this would be the next piece that I cut out. I already have it done over here. This is the color I'm using. So this, as I've probably already mentioned before, is all about craftsmanship and about taking your time, which we all could use a good lesson in that. So um, it's nothing that you can rush through. If you do, it's just going to look messy and your grade on this one is pretty much almost entirely craftsmanship. So again, take your time. So once you cut out one piece, you're just going to take it and trace it onto your paper. And if you have a straight edge, I would definitely use that straight edge. If the scrap paper you're using has a straight edge, just butt it up to one of the sides of it, just so it's less cutting. If you have some tiny pieces on almost any design that you chose, you're gonna have some really tiny pieces. So you're gonna have to just be very careful when you trace. You're gonna have to keep your fingers nice and close because this is just copy paper. It's not very thick. Your pencil's gonna go underneath it really easily if you don't Again, take your time. Um, every time you trace and cut out, it's just, you really gotta take your time. Okay, cut it out. If your lines are a little bumpy when you trace them because your pencil was sliding underneath your paper, then just make sure you make them nice and straight when you're cutting because all of these have geometric shapes. That means there's straight lines. There's no curved lines that I see. Um, so make sure when you cut them, they're nice and straight. And um, you're gonna see some pencil lines if that bothers you and at the end you wanna erase it. It's okay, but just leave it till the very end. Don't try to erase it now. You have to use glue on the opposite side so you will see those pencil lines because that's how you traced it. You traced it from the top. Um, you cut it out and traced it like that. You have to put the glue on the back side so you do see those pencil lines, otherwise it's gonna be opposite. So um, once you cut it out, flip it over and you should have another piece of paper that you can glue on top of so you're not getting your desk messy. Again, you're gluing on the side that does not have the pencil lines. Usually what I tell you not to do um, so you don't see the pencil lines, but you have to for this project. Make sure that 
it's the right position before you glue it down. And um, you want to butt them right together so you don't see any lines in between, but if you do, that's fine. You should, um, you, in most cases, you'll probably have too much space and you might have to even like glue on top of the piece to make it fit, which is also fine. And then when you're when it's glued down, turn it over and make sure you make sure it's nice and stuck down. If you're doing it from rubbing it from the top like that, if you have glue on your hands or if there's glue on here, it gets kind of messy. It's just it's a neater way to do it. And this is again all about trying to make your project nice and neat. If you if you when your piece is glued down, if you want to just, you know, put that off to the side. The piece that you cut out so it doesn't confuse you you know you traced it you already glued that piece you're done move on to the next one so um, from there I would probably jump back and forth here before I cut out this little piece when you're looking at looking at it right here um, it looks like there's two triangles it really doesn't matter whatever is easier for you if you want to cut them out separately or cut it out as one piece um, whatever works for you but Again, one piece at a time. Just start this one. Um, just cut right in the middle of the black line. If it's a really skinny one, just you know, cut on that black line. After you trace it and cut it out, it's probably it will probably be a little bit bigger than your space, but that's okay. Like I said, you can overlap when you glue them down. You don't want to see many spaces in between. So again, if I'm using this color here. You're tracing it right. You're gonna see those black lines. You wanna keep it facing up. You don't wanna ever change that. Trace it very carefully. Cut it out. The side that does not have the pencil lines is the side that you put glue on and make sure um, it's the right direction before you press it down. 